One of New England's well-known news reporters has stopped by Burlington to talk about a feature of a bygone era that is making a comeback. Last week, WCVB's Channel 5's Chronicle news reporter, Ted Reinstein, took time to stop by the library to discuss his new book, New England General Stores. I work for Chronicle, which is the nation's longest-running nightly news magazine in America now, at a local affiliate. And, uh, you know, we do feature stories all over New England. Uh, my beat is kind of been kind of quirky off the beaten path kinds of stories which is why I've come to be able to visit so many diners and general stores and places like that so you know I've done it for almost 25 years now so that's that's been the bulk of my career there have been a lot of things making a comeback in the 21st century such as vinyl records denim jackets and most recently general stores so um as i always say in my talk there's two things around new england that i always feel like i have to stop at if i see one one is a diner and one is a general store and there have been plenty of books whole libraries full of books about diners but not so much about general stores so i really thought hmm maybe you know there hasn't been that much written about general stores and the more i looked into why general stores were kind of being saved now more than ever and they uh seem to be experiencing a little bit of a comeback um that's what made me really curious to write the book ted has visited many general stores throughout the years and by far his favorite general store would be the one that is located in putney vermont well i i, I always point out in the talk that the putney general store in putney vermont is my favorite by far because it is uh the ultimate i call it the rocky of general stores because it has taken a licking and it just keeps getting back up and it's like the ultimate underdog of general stores it has been burned almost to the ground twice and uh and it's still there and uh i just feel like you know it's it's a great underdog story the burlington public library would like to thank the friends of the library for making events like these possible the friends they sponsor the adult programmings they sponsor the author series 2018 and they sponsor the children's programming without the friends we wouldn't have so many interesting things going on at the library. Finally, there is always a town landmark that is never forgotten in the community. I hope that people take away from the book the same thing that made me want to write the book, which is how important the sense of community is in American life. Uh, it doesn't have to be a general store. It's what has often been called the third place in life, which is not work and not home. It could be a bar local barbershop, it could be a local library, like this one in Burlington, it could be a general store, a diner. The important thing is, these are places that community gathers, and it's really important to preserve them. And so I hope what people will take away from this is that it's really important to support your local third place, again, whether it's a diner, a library, a general store, support them, it's the only way they'll survive. Well, I think everyone has a new appreciation of a general store and what a meeting place and a place of community is to a community. And I like to think that libraries are a place that fills the need for a community. From the Burlington Public Library, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.